Hello friends, welcome to Renata's Cookhouse. I'm back with a new recipe. Deem Maggi Moshula or Egg Maggi Masala or Anda Maggi Masala. It's a very popular Indian Bengali snack. Some also have it as a meal. We can have it at any time of the day. It's highly nutritious and tasty. The ingredients we need are Masala Maggi 3. We can also use Chicken Maggi or Atta Maggi. Maggi Masala 3. We get it along with Maggi. Some shops sell them separately. Bell pepper or capsicum 1. Large cut into small pieces. Sunflower oil 6 to 8 teaspoon. We can also use any other oil of our choice. Finely chopped tomato 2 medium size. Finely chopped onion 1 large. Grinded ginger 2 teaspoon. Grind it in mortar and pestle or hamandista. Cauliflower, half cup, cut into small pieces. Eggs, two. Curd cheese or cottage cheese or paneer, about eight pieces, cut into small cubes. Salt to taste. Chopped green chilies, three. Coriander or cilantro leaves, one third cup. Frozen peas, about one third cup. I've defrosted it with the water. The peas from the pots can also be used. In that case, we will have to boil the peas in water for about 5 minutes because the cooking time of the peas from the pods is more than the frozen peas. We can skip this step by introducing peas at much earlier stage of cooking. Heat about 2 teaspoons of sunflower oil in a pan. Then add the paneer and the cauliflower and saute them. Saute paneer for only 2-3 to three minutes and then take them off the pan. This will take off the raw smell of the paneer. If we saute the paneer for a long time, then they will become hard and chewy. We will saute cauliflower till they are brown. To save time, we can add bell pepper or capsicum at a corner of the pan and add about 1 8 teaspoon of salt. And we will saute them in medium heat for about for two five minutes then add about two teaspoon of oil in the corner of a pan and add the ginger to it and saute ginger till golden brown make sure that the raw smell of the ginger goes away otherwise the raw smell of the ginger might not be liked by many people then add about two third portion of the onion and saute till light brown then add the peas mix them well and cook for about 5 minutes then add about 2 thirds tomato chilies cilantro or coriander leaves and about 1 8 teaspoon of salt mix them well and saute for about 7 to 8 minutes in medium heat and then keep it aside add oil if required then add about 2 teaspoon of sunflower oil in a pan then add the eggs and about 1 8 teaspoon of salt and make scrambled eggs and keep it aside then boil about three cups of water in a saucepan add the maggies the maggi masalas mix it well and cook in low heat for about one to two minutes then we will add the vegetable masalas the eggs mix them all well and cook in low heat for about five to seven minutes keep stirring in the in a movement which is from down to up this will allow water to go under the maggi and this will prevent the maggi getting stuck at the bottom of the pan then after five minutes we will check the salt and uh, the maggi masala will have salt so if we require more salt we can always add at this stage our deep maggi masala is looking gorgeous, it's smelling wonderful, it's a feast for my eyes. All ingredients have blended well, it has a fabulous taste. I will serve hot with some chopped onion, tomato and cilantro or coriander leaves. Please try it at home and share it with your friends and family. Please encourage me by clicking on the like, subscribe and bell icon. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. I will be back soon. Bye.